So this is where it all starts, the standard everyday 2 litre plastic bottle. Um, I've tried different sizes, but I've got to say, I think this is going to be turn out to be the best one. Um, I've got uh, the slightly smaller like tonic water, well you know there's, there's tons on the, the shelves of the supermarkets, you can just have a rummage around, but the nice thing about this, this shape is the, obviously the, the general long straight section rather than sort of curving in at the end, so when you start to cut off the ends, which you, you need to do, um, you know, you're left with quite a decent length to play with. And I think the key to it really is the uh, wing support join and I haven't seen anything quite like it and I wonder whether that's why people hadn't really perhaps explored the sort of plastic bottle concept a bit more because the foam ball's brilliant and the, that's just fantastic but the, the plastic bottles in such abundance and uh, so cheap uh, and so tough and durable and so lightweight I just think they're fantastic for the fuselage but I, I guess perhaps the stumbling block was always that uh, connection between the round bottle and um, the wing to sit on top on a, on a sort of very secure and solid way but keeping it lightweight as well so anyway you've probably you've seen a video and you've, you've seen seen it fly so it's okay it works but this video is just breaking down the build so um, in a nutshell it's just to explain that how we put together this and and, and this is what it kind of really comes down to um, I don't know, there's any special name for it, I'm calling it just the wing support section. Um, it's literally just an internal cross member made of foam board, as you'll see in the video, with uh, like a saddle arrangement on top, um, and then some carbon fibre shafts running through it to hold it all together. And I've made the top a little bit wider than the diameter of the bottle, just to give a little bit more support to the wing but honestly that is such a solid solid support that when the elastic bands are pressed down to take the uh, uh, connection with the wing um, that's going nowhere. I think one of the best parts of the plastic bottle fuselage um, is the strength, obviously cheapness and the rigidity, so there's actually three things I've just said there, aren't there? But, but all those points really, really do, in my mind, make it a uh, a really good solution for a fuselage. And you know, it's tough. You can throw this thing. It's quite lightweight. Well, it's very lightweight. You know, it bends if you do that. But look, it pops right back into shape. Let's do that again. See, and. The rigidity, the rigidity of this just really pleasantly surprised me when I first started putting them together. I mean there's, there's like hardly any flex, I'd say there's like no flex in that. I mean, I'm swinging that from here, um, you know, it's, it's really nice and rigid. You know, it offers a lovely, lovely flat, solid support there. And you've got the you've got the elastic bands clamping it down tight there. That wing's going nowhere when that's on the dirt elastic bands. So that's what we've got so far. Um, the standard, and I suspect that will be the uh, the best one in the end. The standard two liter size bottle arrangement, but for a smaller model, why not? same concept and uh, say still in the early days but um, same idea might work okay with the right wing and a bit more stiffening of the fuse but something to play with there thanks for watching hope you enjoy